After these things, King Anasuerus magnified Haman, the son of Hamadath of the Agagite, and advanced him and set his seat above all the princes who were with him. And all the king's servants who were at the king's gate were bowing down and prostrating themselves before Haman, for so the king had commanded concerning him. But Mordecai would not bow down or prostrate himself. So the king's servants who were at the king's gate said to Mordecai, Why do you trespass against the king's command? Now it happened when they had spoken daily to him, and he would not listen to them, that they told Haman to see whether Mordecai's words would stand, for he had told them that he was a Jew. Then Haman saw that Mordecai was not bowing down or prostrating himself before him. So Haman was filled with wrath. But he despised in his eyes to send forth his hand against Mordecai alone, for they had told him who the people of Mordecai were. Therefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews, the people of Mordecai, who were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus. In the first month, which is the month Nisan, in the twelfth year of King Ahasuerus, Per, that is the lot, was cast before Haman from day to day and from month to month, until the twelfth month, that is the month Adar. Then Haman said to King Ahasuerus, There is a certain people scattered and separated among the peoples in all the provinces of your kingdom. Their laws are different from those of all other people, and they do not do the king's laws, so it is not worth it for the king to let them remain. If it seems good to the king, let it be written down that they should perish, and I will pay ten thousand talents of silver into the hands of those who do this work to bring into the king's treasuries. Then the king removed his signet ring from his hand and gave it to Haman, the son of Hamadath of the Agagite, the adversary of the Jews. And the king said to Haman, The silver is yours, and the people also, to do with them according to what is good in your eyes. Then the king's scribes were summoned on the thirteenth day of the first month, and it was written just as Haman commanded to the king's satraps, to the governors who were over each province, and to the princes of each people, each province according to its script, each people according to its tongue, being written in the name of King Ahasuerus and sealed with the king's signet ring. And letters were sent by the hand of couriers to all the king's provinces to destroy, to kill, and to cause all the Jews to perish, both young and old, little ones and women, in one day, the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, which is the month Adar, and to plunder their spoil. A copy of that which was written down to be given as law in every province was revealed to all the people so that they should be ready for this day. The couriers went out, hastened by the word of the king. And the law was given at the citadel in Susa. Now the king and Haman sat down to drink, but the city of Susa was in confusion.